Hello, I'm going to be going over what you do with a client's appointment once they are checked in and ready to be seen. So I'm going to go with the appointment that I have booked here. And you'll see on if you cursor over the appointment, it'll tell you several things. It'll tell you if it's been confirmed, what services they're going to be getting, if they're a new client, um, and whether or not they have their forms filled out. And then under these little icons, it'll also give you information. And where you will see that information is here in the information tab. And it's a really good reference to see what the different colors mean and what the different icons mean. Um, so if they haven't filled out their medical history form, it'll give you this little alert here. If they're a new guest and they haven't been seen in the Zenodi system, it'll be here. All, all clients going forward will have the new new guest symbol because they are new to the Zenodi system. So what I'm going to do to then go ahead and get them checked in is I'm going to right click on the appointment and I'm going to go to uh, change status. Now because this is so far in advance I'm not going to be able to uh, check them in today. But um, when they do get in, you can check in and then that can kind of start the, the timing process for the client. The other thing uh, that you can do if they haven't confirmed yet, um, and depending on your clinic's uh, policies, you can go ahead and do the confirmation here. Zenodi will send them a reminder uh, the previous day that their appointment is coming up. In that reminder, it will also give them a link on where to fill out uh, treat, uh, guest, new guest forms. So then I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to go to view guest history. And in the guest history, we kind of went over it a little bit in the last uh, video, but it'll give you information so if you need to edit anything about their um, demographics, you can do that. Um, you can also see if they have memberships um, or packages. We are still doing the 8IM package. So uh, that would come up here. Now our loyalty is getting changed to prepaid uh, cards. Um, we came up with a really good percentage that's not too much for us, but we'll still uh, have the clients feel like they're still receiving something for the loyalty points that they built up in the square system. And so we wanted to offer them that opportunity in the prepaid cards here. And under custom fields, you'll be able to access their, the client intake forms. Now, if they are a returning client and they have filled out their forms in a paper format, you uh, will want to upload their file here. So you'll scan it over your computer or your printer, and then you will upload it here into this upload form. Now, if they have any previous treatment charts, you can upload it here, or there'll be one other spot that I can show you that you can upload it. It's up to your clinic's um, needs at the time, whether or not which place you do it. If they have any uh, blood work, um, any pertinent medical history that you can upload, you can do it here in the default upload fields. Now in the client intake form, <clears throat> If they filled it out, it'll be all filled out here. Now, the name, uh, the name, age, uh, phone number, email address, what state they're in will all be um, presets. And it does for the guest and for yourself, it presets it all as no, which is really nice because then they'll only have to click yes or no. This form is fully updatable. So if you, if a client has already filled it out and they have a medical history change uh, in the future, you can access this form at any time and make necessary uh, updates or edits to the form as needed. So we do not have to have the, the form that um, some clinics were having them fill out every time they come in as a medical update. It's really nice because you won't have to do that every time you can just update it here. 
So at this point, we'll go to the next form, which is the privacy practices. And then again, it says uh, it uploads and presets your name and the date. And then it does require that you have the client sign here. And then it also gives them what to expect. Most of these forms are almost identical to what we had. So the consent for IV and IM is here. And then there is a portion for us or the client to write a note of any pertinent medical history that they think would be important to uh, their, their therapy with us. So after that, you wanna do submit and close and it's gonna send it in as it's already, a, it's already in the system. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to enter the treatment charts and consents. So the treatment cart, uh, charts and consents are very similar to our previous paper charting. This form will not be here when you guys go live. That's actually getting deleted because uh, it's just redundant. So this is our client flow chart. It's, we tried to make it as uh, similar as possible so that you didn't have to learn a bunch of new charting um, as well as learning a new service. So this is really important to check yes or no. And if it's yes, we need to go into that medical history form and update it. Um, if it's no, then we can just move on. So you, all of these portions, you can enter information in. It's pretty easy, uh, just self-explanatory. Then uh, you're going to want to, depending on what service they're getting, you're gonna want to input this information here. So you can put belly buster and it actually goes pretty far if you want to fill that out. And clinician name, it'll always come up with whatever chair you're doing as a preset, but you need to change that to who is doing the IV service. And then you can do the time as well. And then we have several different options here and presets where you can go ahead and input the information here. And then a good data box for complications. UAs are done a little bit differently. So we ask if the UA passed or if it didn't and whether or not their vitals are within range. If the UA did pass, but you think it's important to put down the information on uh, whether or not they possibly had a UTI or there was something on the UA that you wanna put down, you can always list what uh, was in it here, or you can go to uploads and take a picture of the UA and upload it to the uploads chart. It's up to what your clinic director and uh, medical director want you to do. And then you're going to want to change the name of the employee starting the infusion, um, the times, drip rates, and then um, your end of service vitals will be here, any notes or complications. And then the clinic director will want to go ahead and put the input for what they did here. Lots of great space to write any notes if needed. And you always want to sign. And then if you submit and close, it's actually going to save the form. And so, as you know, in uh, our normal day to day, when we're taking care of clients, we're actually going to come back to this treatment chart several times. So if you submit and close, it's going to save any information that you had and allow for anyone else to jump in and edit it and finish the charting for you. So that's what I would recommend doing the submit and close. So we also have a portion for recommended care record, which is really great for the clinic directors to write down what they think would be best for the care plan. And then here we have a, a good data set of where we can upload 
any type of uh, past treatment records, um, any lab work that would be important, um, UAs, that sort of stuff. Okay, so after that, um, we've got all of the client's uh, paperwork done and input it in, we're going to want to launch the POS or we're going to want to take payment. A couple different ways we can do it. We can just launch the POS from here or we can launch it with the client's information already there. So once we have launched it, it comes up with this here. Now on the mobile app, it's a little bit different um, than it is in the desktop version. Uh, you just have to see which one works better for your clinic and which one you like better. Um, we at Overland Park like the mobile app for um, the clients filling out their intake paperwork, as well as the Ivy Tech's charting um, and clinic directors charting as they go. And then we like using this version as the checkout version because it, it seems to be able to um, we can input information a lot easier and get everything done quicker um, on this, but it just depends. You guys will have to kind of play around and see what works best for your clinics because we're all a little bit different. Okay, so we've got our information here. We've got our Bountiful Beauty uh, and Dynamic Dad. Now, if we want to change this, uh, like let's say they came in for a bountiful beauty, but they wanted to do a different um, service, we can do this here um, and we can add uh, services here on this um, platform. So um, the other thing is we can add products. So if we wanna add um, a Focus Max, we can do that. And then you have to click add to it. And then it puts the tax automatically at the end. Um, and then, so if we want to add services, it'll take us back to the booking window that I showed you before. And it, that's where we'll add services. And then we can click right back to the take payment option. So for these purposes, we're not going to add any services. Now, if we want to sell a membership, we can do it here and we can actually sign them up for whatever uh, tier membership we want to do and we can add it in and it will actually charge them. It will bring it up for them to be charged the $94 today um, for their services. And also, so we can do a couple different uh, discounts. So in Zenodi discounts are campaigns, so they're one and the same. Um, we have several different preset uh, discounts that you can do, or you can do a, um, a discount that is uh, automatically done. Now with that, you need to write a um, reasoning as to why we're doing the discount. So you need to write the uh, why you're doing the discount on the invoice. Try, if you can, um, for the most part, try to use the preset. Uh, that way your accountant doesn't have to go back in and figure out what, what has been, um, why, why the discount was applied. Okay, so then we will take it as cash. We'll use credit or debit. We'll also, um, so your terminal is going to be your um, POS system that the client would put their card into. If you don't want them to use that, then you'll do manual and then add payment and it'll ask you for their address. You don't have to do that. You can actually skip and then you can put in their debit card here or you can just do terminal one and use it that way. Now, super important, when you get the service done and charged, you wanna make sure that you are emailing and closing the payment. It won't give you the option to do it unless you, you charge it out, which I'm not going to do for um, accounting purposes. But if, if once you have that option, you definitely wanna make sure you close the invoice. Um, if something is wrong, we can always reopen it <clears throat> but you really want to make sure that you close the invoice. So that is a basic overview of what to do uh, with a client that has come in. And that's kind of how we go from booking the client to 
doing the paperwork and then to uh, taking payment. It is a little bit more time consuming, but there is reasons for that. And once you get used to it, you'll find that you really, really will end up liking this service a lot better. There's gonna be less paperwork, less fumbling and more ways to track our clients and their, their health and what we're doing for them in this system. So give it some time. I know it's a little bit of a, a bear at first, but once you get used to it, you'll, you'll notice that it, it, it really is helpful and it will be helpful for us. Um, one other thing is once you actually take payment and you close the invoice, this will be blue. And so it'll be shown that you have closed the invoice and I'll give you an example of what it should look like. This is what it should look like. Um, <clears throat> if everything's in closed and the payments have been taken. All right. Thank you. And I will post the next video um, soon. Thanks.